Welcome to my series of videos on research reports. In this video, I will be bringing to you the general guidelines for writing research reports. That will be the subject of discussion on this video. So let's get started. I will want to start by saying that there are no set rules or procedure for writing research reports. However, some general guidelines can be prescribed. So what I am presenting are just some general guidelines. These are not cast in stone or higher. Uh, this can be modified and you are not bound to follow this, but these are essential guidelines that I feel are important for us to note when we are writing research reports. So the first is prepare the first draft of the paper and set it aside for a day or two. So if it's a paper you are writing as a single author or even if it's joint authorship, no problem. Write the full paper, get it written and then set it aside for a day or two. Just put it somewhere, save it somewhere and then forget about it do some other things and then after that you revisit it again pick that first draft and go through it carefully read and reread it again and again and as you are reading and rereading it you will realize that there are some things you will feel oh let me make this better let me express this in a different way so there will be some changes you will make even though you are the one that wrote it initially, but now that you have allowed some time in between and you are looking at it afresh, there may there will even be some mistakes you have made earlier that you didn't notice. Now you begin to discover them and you may say, oh, I need to rephrase this. I need to recast this statement and so on. So that's the reason why you have to set it aside first and then revisit it later. Uh, then rewrite the draft by making those amendments you know there are some uh researchers you just think of an idea you write your research paper and you just send it to a journal or to an editor no it's not it, that that's not right because there will be some mistakes there that will make you look stupid when you yourself see them later so it's always good to set it aside for a few days pick it again go through it now carefully and make those corrections so you rewrite the paper based on those amendments you deem fit to make and then you give the draft to someone else to help you review and proofread so okay you have finished writing it give it to a colleague a mentor a senior colleague or whoever to say okay now i've done my own work on this i have read it i've read it over and over and over again I think I'm ready to allow someone else to help me look at it. And then the person will look at it, review it, proofread it, make further corrections, and return it to you. And after that, you now revise the paper again in line with those suggestions and comments as appropriate. So you now have to revise the paper, rewrite it based on the comments and suggestions made by the person that has helped you to do the peer review and you must ensure at this stage that you comply with the journal's guide for authors you know i mentioned the guide for authors in an earlier video so it's important you must follow the guide for authors at this stage in the next video we will discuss the steps to follow in writing a journal paper. That will be the subject of the next video. See you then.